Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my eating show. Well, today I have noodles and wieners. Okay, straight up noodles and wieners. That's it. Yeah, so I'm having a little light lunch with just the noodles and wieners and a little butter in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is my lunch. And I also have my coldest water bottle. Yes. If you want your coldest water bottle, click down below the description box to get your coldest water bottle. Okay? All right. Now see if I can get it up here too. about that okay all right so let me uh send my prayer sign get started oh bless this food right now let me just stop saying that amen okay Ooh. moves all over the fork really hmm Mm. So how y'all doing? Mmm. Child. It is hot today. Mmm. I did go outside to just warm my car up because I wasn't going nowhere. I just went out there and warmed that car up a little bit. Listen to a little gospel music. Check my mail. Came back in the house. Cause it's a hundred and ten. <laughs> Oh, my God. I get hotter just thinking about it. It's 110 degrees today. Yes. If I throw a, a, a egg out there, it'll probably fry right on the cement. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Mmm. We were burning up all night last night. It was so hot. Couldn't sleep with no blanket or nothing. It was just too hot. Mm, yeah, I'm thinking about doing my sleep streams again. Mm. Well, I stopped doing them because... Dealing with insomnia. You can't fall asleep, so I can't do sleep stream. If I can't fall asleep, take me forever. So, yeah. But they won't be that long because I'll be doing it on my phone. Mmm. Oh, this is good. Mm. Yeah, I just smelled me some good old butter in here, some real butter. Mm. Okay. I'm going to win. Mm. I'm going to win. Mm. Some simple. I ain't trying to go out. Mm. Mm, Lay down. But then I'm thinking about just making some homemade burgers because I want a burger too. So I'll make the homemade burger. Slap a little cheese on there. <clears throat> With the mayonnaise and the mustard. Okay. 
Homemade burgers is not made with hamburger buns, okay? You make use your regular bread, the white bread or the wheat bread. Child, that's grandma burgers, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna make do so I don't go out. Need to feel my belly, y'all. Mmm. Let me say this. It don't have to look good to taste good. Oops. <laughs> For real though, it don't have to look good to taste good. Okay. I done made up some meals, y'all. I call it create a meal. Yeah, create a meal. You can add hamburger meat to just about anything. Mm-hmm. But what I do is I get my little rice, I get my little hamburger meat, and then I get a little of the uh, salsa. I'm talking about the, the spicy salsa and mix that stuff in there. Mmm. Man, that is good. And pour that over some mashed potatoes. Oh, God, yeah. Create a meal. Got to make it work, make it work. Especially when you're hungry. You'll make it work. You got to figure that thing out. You know what I'm saying? You got to work with your quarantine food, I'm telling you. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay. Mm, that's what the grandma did back in the day. Asking the grandma, Grandma, what is this? You know what she said? That's dinner. <laughs> yeah, that's dinner. Okay. Now eat. <laughs> okay. Mm. So you don't have to run out in this heat trying to make it to a stove, which is going to be crowded anyway. Yeah. You look in them cabinets, see what you can put together. Mm hmm. Oh no. One thing, black people will not starve. No matter what, they know how to put some stuff together. <laughs> and if they ain't got no stuff to put together, what do they do? Go knocking on doors. <laughs> oh yeah, knock on doors. You got this, you got that. For real. Mm hmm. Ain't nobody gonna starve around here. Like I said, look at me. I like to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna eat something, something in there. <laughs> Put together. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's good. I'm just eating away. That's good. Mm, I'm not going to drink some of this water, though. Yeah, and these noodles, you know, there'd be a lot of salt in these noodles. So you got to drink that water and wash it down. Mmm. Noodles and wieners are pretty good, y'all. 
Mm hmm. Some noodles and some wieners. <clears throat> That's good. Don't leave you feeling heavy, though. It gets you full. You don't want to be feeling all heavy. I don't know what's going on here. I've been having some crazy dreams. Yeah. Crazy dreams. Mm. I don't know what's going on in the world. Mm. Mm -mm. Chill, I don't watch the news that much no more. Mm -mm. But they put everything on Facebook. It's on Facebook. The news, everything, the good and the bad. Okay. You want to find out what's going on in the world? Go on social media. They have it all up there. Mm-hmm. Mm, -hmm. mm them news was good. Ah. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh, don't even see the time. I can't see it. Oh, there it is up there. Okay. And leaner, you guys. Okay. Sometimes I put the Italian sausage, if it's not the hot dog, or hot wings. Mmm. Do they have any shortage in hot wings? It's kind of hard to find some hot wings. That's why I start buying my Italian sausage again, because some of these stores just don't have it. Mmm, this is really good, y'all. Mmm, this is really good. Taste the butter. Oh, yeah, I haven't forgot what I said. I'm making me a little cooking video, making up my butter. I'm going to do it. Probably next week. It'll be one day next week. Mm-hmm. Well, I ain't going out today, but I got to go out and go get the heavy cream because that's all you use to make that butter. Okay, you can easy just stir it by hand or use the a mixer, you know, with your big bowl or whatever. Pour that heavy cream in there and just start mixing. Yeah, and it start getting thick. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Ooh. Mm. Mm-hmm. What I'm telling you, do it by hand. You're going to have to switch hands because y'all arms up here are gonna get all sore but you just gotta stir 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 over and over and over and over but hello uh at least between 30 and 45 minutes by hand but the mixer don't take long at all i'm thinking i'm gonna use the mixer this round <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, because uh may take a while doing by hand, so
if you want unsalted butter, don't worry about putting salt. But if you really like that salted butter, get you some sea salt. Mm. And you just put like a a teaspoon of that in there. It blend right in. That's all you need. Oh, you need some saran wrap because you're going to want to wrap it and, you know, and shape it up and wrap it or whatever. But, yeah. Heavy cream is a real expensive. It's not that expensive. It's about the same price of a gallon of milk. Yeah. Mmm. They've only seen the heavy cream that come like in one of them quart containers, box or whatever. And so basically, you'll need at least. When I made it, I only used one quart of the heavy cream. But if you want to make at least four sticks of butter, you have at least two quarts of it. But I don't know where they would sell the gallon jug of the heavy cream. And I could really make me some butter. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's what they used to do back in the day. They used to make that butter. Mm-hmm. Mm, but if you're going to stir by hand, get your wooden spoon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems like it's stir much better. Mm, it wouldn't spoon. Because butter getting expensive too, y'all, like everything else. I don't know what brand that was when I looked at it. That butter was five something, almost six dollars for a box of butter. I think it was just four sticks in there. Five dollars. I'm well like, hey, I could make that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I could make me some butter. Yeah. I'm gonna make me some butter. I have to do that more often too, because I know there's a lot of people out there want to learn how to do old school stuff, you know? Mm. A limited time where you got to get back to basics. You do. You got to start growing your fruits and your veggies again. Yeah, because they talking about about to run out of grocery stores going to run out of food again. This time it's going to be worse. So what do you do? Okay, number one. Load up on them canned goods. That's for one. Okay, you load up on your canned goods because you can't really keep potatoes very long. You know, sack of potatoes, they go bad so quick. But they do got uh, whole potatoes in the can. Hmm. Yeah. Some people say that may be expensive about the canned goods. No, not really. Go in the 99 cent store or the dollar store. It won't be that expensive at all. Go and get your canned goods. Because in there, you can get two or three for a dollar or something like that. Mm hmm. Now is the time to stretch that dollar bill. I'm telling you. Go in them dollar stores, load up on them canned goods. Mm hmm. Just like today, it's too hot, but you got to still eat your meals. Mm, and you want a snack, and then you have a sweet tooth later on at night and stuff. You get all that good stuff in the dollar store. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not no penny pitcher, but hey, I know how to save them coins. Okay, 
You got to make it work. You got to stretch it out. Stretch it out. Okay? Go in that dollar store. Mm-hmm. I think I just about everything dollar store. Mm-hmm. They even sell meat up in there, in their counter. And be all packaged up and stuff. They got chicken, pork chops, steak. I even seen some shrimp they have in package or whatever. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can save money up in a dollar store. Some of these stores be ridiculous on their prices. I'm like, every time I go in there, it seems like something that went up again. I'm like, what is this? Okay? Mm. And another thing, you may have to start making your bread again. Get back to basics. They used to make some bread called <clears throat> whole cakes or something. <coughs> yeah, they got all them recipes online. <coughs> yeah, you load up on your flour. Yeah. A lot of people are in a world of trouble if these grocery stores run out of food. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to plan ahead. Load up on your flour, your baking powder. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> as far as the milk, you can buy powdered milk and mix that up. <coughs> <coughs> Back in the day, they used to milk them cows. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to have to buy the powdered milk. <coughs> Not everybody got a cow in the backyard. <laughs> okay, so you had to go ahead and get your powdered milk and stuff. Yeah. Just prepare yourself. In your kitchen, have a, as they say, a emergency cabinet. Just in case emergencies happen or whatever, you be able to eat. You have your emergency cabinet set aside with your canned goods and your bags of beans, bags of rice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> Create an emergency cabinet. Or if you got a pantry, stack that pantry up. I'm telling you. <clears throat> yeah. They got all kind of good stuff in the dollar store. I'm telling you. Mm, the same stuff that be priced too high, they have it for a dollar. And I'll be like, this don't make no sense. <laughs> <clears throat> Food prices going up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I got a sister that she stay at a dollar store. Always buying the can. I got that idea from her canned goods and stuff. I went to visit her one day. Ooh, she had canned sardines, yeah, oysters, she had, oh, canned veggies, canned potatoes, canned everything. I'm like, wow. Yeah, she told me how much she spent, and it wasn't even that expensive. I'm like, really? Mm. Now is the time. To prepare for your emergency food. Yeah, just, just have a special cabinet just for your emergency. So emergency do happen. You got something to eat. You don't have to be sitting around biting your fingers like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm so hungry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you got your emergency cabinet. Okay, people, let's get it together. Remember. Back to basics. Okay? Back to basics. Make that butter. Make that bread. Okay? From scratch. Make them biscuits from scratch. Those who love biscuits and gravy, you can make biscuits from scratch. Mmm. Okay, they got all these recipes online. So ain't nothing you can't do. Type it in what you want. And it's right there. Black and white. Okay? <clears throat> 
But no seriousness, we do got to prepare ourselves because they're talking about grocery stores going to run out of food completely. So what we going to do? Make you want to say, hmm, okay. Back in the day on TV, they used to have a little light bulb by the head when they got a good idea. Let that light bulb pop on, light bulb pop on. Get you some good ideas. Okay. Back to basics. A lot of us was taught well by the grandmothers. Okay. So now we understand why they did what they did. Okay. All right. So I just want to tell everyone, thank you for watching. Every now and then, I'll give some little tips or whatever that you make you use in your everyday life. Okay, so I'm constantly looking for uh, new recipes online and how to make this, how to make that. It's out there, y'all. It's out there. So you got to do it, do it. You keep food in your belly. Okay. <laughs> All right, don't have to be nothing fancy. Okay. All right. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed your lunch. I just enjoyed mine. It looks like I ate everything this time. <laughs> okay, so, mm. all right, enjoy the rest of your evening. Stay safe out there and take care. Okay, you guys, God bless you. Talk to you soon. Okay, goodbye.